folks. Welcome back to another video. I hope that you're doing really, really well. It has been a hot minute since I posted a video. A video? A video. It's been a few weeks and I'm not going to apologize for my absence because first and foremost, YouTube is a hobby. It's something that I do for fun and it's not always going to be the first priority on my list when I have a lot of things going on in my life. So this video is going to be a bit of a life, a very vague life update, basically explaining why there's not going to be a lot of riding videos over the next probably month or so. And in saying that, it's also going to be a ride and talk through because I have some footage from a ride on Merlin about two weeks ago that I really enjoyed and I just want to include it in a video so I hope you enjoy but before I get into that I'm just going to talk very quickly about why I haven't been posting and why I won't be posting a lot of like riding type footage over the next I don't even know how long it basically going to take as long as I need so long story short I have going on in my life right now and I apologize for the vagueness this YouTube channel is not about my personal life it's about my horsey life so I'm going to be very vague and just say that there's a lot going on right now both with the horses and in my you know everyday life work is really really busy I've got some things going on that are quite stressful thankfully you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel and I just need to get through to five weeks and hopefully things will be back to normal. I'm in a period and will be for the next little while in a period of some change which I think is going to bring some really exciting things to my life and some really exciting things to this channel but I'm neurodivergent. I have ADHD and change is something that is really really hard for me and there's been some snags in the journey to making some changes yeah, I just need to take some time to rest and focus on things that make me happy, which making YouTube videos does make me happy, but I'm needing to, for the first time in a long time, prioritize self-care and uh, looking after myself and my mental health over the horses. And that doesn't mean that I'm not going out to visit, like I'm on my way out to the barn right now, I'm still going out, you know, at least three times a week. Merlin had come back into work, but like I said, life has just been throwing some bangers my way, and I've just decided to give him more of a break. So he came back into work for about two months. I did a lot of groundwork, did like less than 10 rides, and he's going back for another probably six weeks off. He's already been off for two weeks. The ride that the footage I'm going to show tonight was my last ride before I went home. Easter break and then my mom came back with me and she spent like six days here with me so she was visiting and I was working and it was just a hectic time he would have had that time off anyway and I've just decided to extend that there's some things happen like extenuating circumstances that makes it hard for me to work with the horses anyway it's just something that's happening you know at the beginning of the year I wasn't planning on giving him the month of April off I'm hoping that things will settle down by the second or third week of May and then at the beginning of June there are some things happening or one big thing happening that I'm really excited about. It's bittersweet but I think it's it's a good step for me and Merlin in our journey together. So that's an incredibly vague way of saying that I'm taking a, a break from riding and it's not something that I've done in a long time is taking a break from riding. It's both a conscious choice and something that you know like I said, there's some extenuating circumstances. It's been a while since I've taken more than a couple of weeks away from riding, but I think that if I take this time and really focus on nurturing my mental health, and to be honest, I have limited energy and I need to spend that energy elsewhere right now. So I'm really just enjoying going out to the barn, spending time, focusing on connection, doing grooming, and just being, rather than always focusing on the training and things like that. I'm really excited to get back 
into the training and you know bring back bring Merlin back into work and have a super fun summer ahead of us when the time comes but until that time he's just going to be chilling in the field munching on hay living his best life Eve is doing great too she has actually been working consistently for the last like two years she's never had more than three weeks off so she's having a little vacation too and I think she's enjoying it so I will be posting videos over the next few weeks this weekend Natalie and I are going to do something that's super fun that we're excited to make a video about and we're actually going to film two videos in the same day so the style of video over the next probably four or five weeks is very likely going to be more discussion based videos maybe I'll do another episode of the horses who made me things that can exercise some creative muscles while also being kind of low impact I talked about my mental health. I am having a little bit of a dip in my mental health that's being caused by extenuating circumstances and things that are happening. And part of that has also been that I've just, since the beginning of the year, I've just been on and off sick. And when I had COVID back in January, is it January? I really like the minute that I was better, I, I got back to riding and pushing myself a little bit too much and I think that I push myself a little too much too quickly and I'm paying for it now because I'm super burnt out between working and having two horses in full work and family and friends and doing chores on the weekends and I'm just tired. So I'm taking some time to refresh and rebuild my energy banks and not spending as much time at the barn as I normally would. Normally I would go out like five days a week and I'm not doing that. I'm going out days maybe four days but it's for shorter visits and having that little bit more free time I'm not gonna lie is quite refreshing and taking that break it's one of those things where I think taking a step back while things are going on in your life is not a bad thing horses are still very much my escape but I'm coming to realize that I don't necessarily need to ride in order for them to be my escape and sometimes taking a break from that focusing so much of my mental and physical energy on horses it will also benefit my journey with horses in the long run I don't know if that makes sense but yeah I want to make sure that I've got everything that I'm back to my my normal self before I really get Merlin back into work and focus on a fun summer full of exciting plans so that was a long rambly bit I will now turn over to voiceover Caitlin who will take you through probably six to seven minutes of a ride that was I think 37 minutes and then we will end this ship. So this ride was Wednesday, March 27th and this was the second ride that I did some canter. He had been having some issues with standing at the matting block so I always spend a couple or I was spending a couple of minutes at the beginning of each ride just working on mounting block stuff and as you can see by this ride he was really really good so he tends to be I've said this many times before but he tends to be a bit spooky down at this end when I first get on so I spent just a few minutes uh, acclimatizing him to the end again and going over walking him over the poles and as you can see here he has a little look he just I mean there is a lot going on at that end but it never really changes so he once he's in work he does get better but he always has a bit of a look and it's just something that he does so we always work through it before moving on so i made sure to walk him over the poles and you can see there that he was looking at something outside and this was a bit spooky because half of the sides of the arena were up and half were down it was a bit chilly and windy so it was quite a scary thing to go from not being able to see outside to being able to see outside so i just let him stand there i think this time lapse is like 30 seconds and then we're just yeah just doing our little walk warm up walking over the poles which as you'll see later in the session you would think that he had never seen a pole in his life um but as he starts to settle he settles into a really really nice contact like you see here and he just felt incredible um yeah, he was starting to feel really, really good in our rides. And it's kind of frustrating because 
like I need to take a break from riding but he was coming back really well and whatever but I just need to remind myself like he's only turning five at the beginning of June and we're on nobody's timeline but our own so if I need to take a break it's not going to hurt him he's not going to care and it doesn't matter so as I was making our way through our trot warm-up I was trying to remind myself to keep him moving forward because I think at this time of year especially when he feels um, like hyper and a bit like a ticking time bomb that he has a lot of energy when he's coming back into work after a long break I can be a little timid to ask him to move forward which you know it's kind of counterintuitive but if he's moving slower and not really trotting into the hand he's actually gonna find it easier to spook so I was trying to remind myself just to keep my leg on keep him moving forward keep him moving into the contact and keeping him bent around my inside leg which is what I'm doing here he was being a little bit lucky down at this end um, just you know his normal spookiness at the things in the corners but keeping him bent around my inside leg really helps to prevent him from spooking and then we come down the long side and I decide that yeah it's time to start trotting over the poles now I had walked over all of these poles and we come up to it and yeah so <laughs> let's replay that um, you would think based on his reaction that he had never seen a pole in his life hilariously enough that's probably the nicest form that he's ever had over a quote-unquote jump with me on his back ever um, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of that talent come out this summer as we start jumping more. But yeah, I brought him back to a walk and we just walked over the pole a few times and then trotted over it a couple times. And I was like, you know what? That's good. Let's walk, trot the other way. So I basically did the same thing the other way as I did this way. At this end, at the trot, he tends to be a little bit spookier going this way, going to the right. So I made sure to kind of bring him down to a walk and do a lot of transitions and just let him look because no matter how many times he walks past it, it's like once we get up into a new gate, it's terrifying. So yeah, but you can see here he's trotting really, really lovely and he just felt incredible. This was probably the second or third ride back that he felt like, yeah, he's going to do some really wonderful things this summer. And then I was like, I want to take him over the pole, but we best walk over it first because we saw the reaction he had the other way. And even then he still does this kind of weird, funky little pop over it, but I'm not super picky because that was his first time doing trot poles in months. But look how good he looks here. He just felt incredible. He's not like over bending. He's just staying in a really nice contact. And what I love about him is that once he's there, he's there. Like I don't really have to do much work to keep him connected. As you can see, he was a little sticky going into the canter and his canter is very slow. Um, so I was just doing a lot of transitions, brought him back to a walk because he was quite sticky and I think he was just tired. And then I started just doing some transitions where I got him to canter for half a circle, brought him back, brought him back up into the canter and we had a much better canter going at the end you can see how lovely and smooth he looks I would have liked like in retrospect I would have asked him to move just a little bit more forward but what can you do hindsight is 2020 and I mentioned earlier that this was our second time cantering but it's really our first time cantering because I had cantered the previous night but only like five or six steps each direction I basically when I'm bringing him back from winter break especially like in the spring when a lot of horses are hyper anyway i'm really timid so i wanted to just get it out of the way so i asked him to canter and then immediately brought him back to a trot and then once i saw that there was no reaction i was like okay the next ride i'll do a proper canter so this was his first proper canter and you can see that he is a little bit sticky he still was building up his stamina so when i bring him back into work you know in may or june whenever it is i am going to need to do a lot of really slow work and it's going to be boring and you know i did that work in february and march and so i'm kind of annoyed at myself like it's frustrating that i have to take this break but there are personal reasons and also extenuating circumstances that mean that i just have to it's hard to work with the horses and yeah, but I have this footage to look back on and to enjoy um, a glimpse of the potential that he's going to show this summer. So this is probably one of the most pointless videos I've ever posted, but I hope that, I'm not gonna say I hope that you enjoyed because it was quite boring. 
like life update short footage of rides i hope that you enjoyed merlin being a drama queen over pole things will resume before you know it i won't be posting as much but i'm still hoping to do some discussion type videos natalie and i are going to be filming a couple this weekend so i'll space those out over the next few weeks and yeah i hope that you are having a wonderful day wherever you are don't forget to give your horse or pony a hug or a kiss the next time you see them and i will see you next time so one more note before I end the video, just to show you some of the fun things that I've been using my kind of extra free time while I'm taking this riding break. So while my mom was visiting, we went to Park Omega in Quebec, which is about an hour outside of Ottawa. And it's this incredible like drive through wildlife park with deer and pigs and bison and Przewalski horses, which was super cool to see. They've got wolves they've got bears they've got any kind of like goat mountain goats deer and i'm going to use this break from riding to try to get back to some of the things that used to make me really really happy when i was taking a longer break from riding and get back into some old hobbies i want to try to read a little bit more i want to try to get out for walks and hikes and just do things that will make me feel fulfilled and nurture my mental health as I am waiting to feel better. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day.